All right, guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today, we're going to try another Wilson golf ball. We're going to try the Wilson 50 Elite. I got a nice little pink. I'm not sure if this is pink or not. We're going to try this golf ball on course. Later, we'll do it inside. So we're going to start out on 320 yard par four. We got a creek down there. We got a hazard on the right, a creek to carry, some trees on the left, and some wind that's picking up. little left still i think we can play from there it's a little firmer than the last wilson golf ball that i tested that wasn't the most solidly struck ball i've ever hit we've got 130 to the pin we're gonna go with the eight iron it's into the wind and the ball is below my feet ball actually flew right here it's right by the ball mark my issue with this is coming out of the shot so i try to actually make sure i swing down the slope and fall this way otherwise i have disastrous results so we're going to stay with it. Feel like the weight's moving this way through the shot, 130. And hopefully we can get us somewhere either on the green or right around the green. Well, I flew a long way. I think that's near the back of the green, actually. So guys, due to the, the way I struck that ball, it came out with pretty much no spin, having trouble figuring out where the ball actually even landed. All things considered, from that type of lie, I'll take anything on the green or anything with a relatively easy pitch shot. But not a bad feeling ball so far. Hopefully we can get some shots on the face to where we can really get some feedback. Telling you guys, since Go. Since I've changed to a lighter grip, I'm having a lot more success with the line of the putt. Uh, a good putt there, guys. Good putts don't always go in. Okay, so now we have a 390 yard par four here. Goes a little down and then back up the hill. Pro shot will be uphill. Take a nice, smooth swing at this 50 Elite. I tell you what, guys, this ball so far is the highest flying golf ball outside of the Nitro. Let me hit another one. I was just off the right side of the fairway. That ball was lower, but there's no doubt in my mind that this Wilson 50 Elite ball flies quite a bit higher than that Wilson Zip did. This is the first ball, a little bit of a pop up, maybe high on the face. I've got 187 in here, uphill. So I'm gonna hit a high wood here and... Wow, that felt really good, really good off the face. I almost feel like that ball might be long. So here's the other ball. Got 167 to the pin. I just want to see if I can keep a seven iron low and how much I can get out of it with this golf ball. Kind of healed that one. First ball we hit, this ball landed about 15 feet short of the hole and released about 15 feet past the hole. Here is the ball mark and it was 187. This high wood flew about 180 uphill. Really, really good shot there. Putt's gonna break right to left. Oh boy. Getting confidence in the putter though. So guys, the other ball I hit low ended up just short of the green. For ends, I'd have a really long putt, but it'd be an opportunity to get up and down at least, maybe 80 feet or so. Take this right at that big tree right in the middle. If we can get this ball moving left, preferably, but if it fades, no more than five yards or so, and we'll be fine. Wind's going that way, but I think that is probably about that five yard. Wind might have blew it to the right side of the fairway. Not sure why that deer over there was staring me down. All right, so we hit a nice shot here in position. We've got 108 to the pin, wind's helping a little bit. It's right in between a pitching wedge and that 48 degree wedge, but because the wind's helping, I really want to test this ball out. So I'm gonna hit the 48, hit it hard, see if we can get it there. Right as I said that, the wind kind of stopped blowing. It's any wind, it's actually blowing a little bit to the right too. So get that 48 there, we would need help. So we're gonna hit the pitcher. 20 feet long or so, so be it. I'm gonna take that aim right at the flag here.
the outside a little right. The ball landed maybe 30 feet past the hole. It only released about maybe about four feet or so. So pretty good release, especially with the wind helping a little bit. Let's see if we can get this putt down by the hole. Oh. oh. Okay guys, so last hole with this Wilson 50 Elite. We're gonna play this par three from 155 yards. And we're gonna go with the seven iron. Wind's blowing left to right. If we can land this 150 yards or so, be pretty good shot. Went right at it guys. I felt like I hit it a groove low, but it went right at the flag. So let's see where it is. Uh, let's go inside, check the numbers, and see what we get for the Wilson 50 Elite. The spin on the 50 Elite was almost 2,000 less than the Tylus Pro V1. The launch about 3 degrees higher. Descent 1 degree steeper. Peak height was the same. The Wilson 50 Elite pretty much matched the Wilson Zip from 50 yards. The Wilson 50 Elite had 1 mile per hour less ball speed with the 7 iron. Launch 1 degree lower. Spin about 400 RPM more. The descent 2 degrees less deep. 3 yards lower peak height. And the carry 4 yards shorter than the Pro V1. With the driver, the Wilson 50 Elite was 4 miles per hour slower than the Pro V1. Launched almost 2 degrees higher. Spin with then about 100 RPM of the Pro V1, the descent 2 degrees steeper, peak height 2 yards higher, and the carry 6 yards shorter than the Pro V1. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my video on the Wilson 50 Elite. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out! These little guys are having a good time until I came out here. Oh, pulled it again. Oh boy. Okay, so we need to fly this one less than halfway there. Yeah. All right, guys, I got 200 yards here, and I'm going to hit my trusty, trusty, dependable five wood. Kind of hit that one heavy, guys, and about five yards short of the green here, I did hit that five wood heavy. I think it was the right club. It's going to chip one right on the front of the green and roll it up to the hole. right at it this putt does break left to right quite a bit and I'm gonna try to play it up in that area oh all right I hit it a little low on the face. I hit it well. Maybe a little left. And that's a pretty good speed. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. 